It has been quite a bit of time, I think, since I have done a love it, like it, or leave it. And I have a few items here that I would love to show you and tell you what I think of them. I don't have a whole lot this time. It seems like whenever I do have a new item and if I love it, I, it immediately goes into my monthly favorites. So then I feel redundant, you know, saying it again for a love it, like it, or leave it because obviously you knew that I loved it because it was a favorite. So, but maybe not everyone watches both. So maybe I should start putting some of my favorites in my love it, like it's, or leave it's too. But for now, I don't have them. These are all new things I have not talked about before. Um, they may not be new to you. They're not like new on the market necessarily, although none of them are really terribly old. But anyway, let's just get going. First of all, I have to talk about this. It is called the Mount Lai, and I cannot, I have no idea. It's like Gua Sha. I'm sure I'm completely, I don't know. But this is a jade lifting tool, basically for your face. They have it in jade. You can choose jade or you can choose um, pink quartz. And it's cooling, it's a good, it's got a good uh, thickness to it, so you, you feel like it's substantial and not gonna snap. Um, it just feels really beautiful. The way they have shaped it is just amazing. They do give you this pouch, it comes in this pouch, and they also give you a, a little card to show you what to do with it. So basically, what they suggest is morning and night with a clean face, everything perfectly clean, you, rub this, so to speak, you sweep it across your face in an upward motion across the forehead both ways and it's curved nicely so it fits beautifully and feels really, really good like that. And then you also do from the cheekbones, you know, out like this. I actually go under my eyes and just gently massage there into that muscle and around. It's cool so it feels so good and depuffing and they, that is one of the things it's supposed to do is depuff. And then also um, you can use this little bit here and hold it like this and you can just sort of angle like this all the way up to the jaw and you just keep doing that and it feels so good and I actually run it up my neck too you could put it all over the place if you wanted to but the idea is for lymphatic drainage and facial massage it helps with fine lines with lifting with um, brightness apparently um, it is supposed to do so much and of course my skeptical brain is like, mm, yeah, right, this is a rock. How's it gonna do all this, right? But of course, I am curious enough to give it a try. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Um, I've read everything there is to read about it. I'm not really sure why a jade flat lovely thing, number one, it feels so good, it's worth it. Um, but I feel like it is doing something. I really do, I feel more lifted, I feel more, um, my fine lines in, and things going away just a little bit. Um, I'm in my 50s, so keep in mind, you know, and I don't have stuff done, so if you see fine lines and stuff, don't think, oh, that doesn't work. Um, you know, it might, I, I think it really does help somewhat. But yeah, anyway, it feels so good, it's worth it. Oh. So if you're wanting to try this, this brand is wonderful. I will link the one I got below. It's not terribly expensive. And like I say, if nothing else, that cooling, oh my gosh, feels so good. It just feels good. So I'm really loving that. So that is a love it for sure. Okay, now we have something that everyone else has tried and it seems like everyone else has loved. Um, so I thought, well, I'm gonna have to give that a try and see how I feel about it, right? It's the Hourglass Vanish uh, Foundation Stick. It is the Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. That's what it's actually called. I got it in Bisque. I'm very, very fair, and many times I take like the fairest of the fair, and this is actually several notches above the fairest that they have to offer, but I think it really matches pretty well. I'm wearing it today. Um, it does offer good coverage, and in this actual application, when I put it on today, I put it on this side with the Beauty Blender. I spread it around with the Beauty Blender, and on my other side, I used this um, It Cosmetics brush to, you know, spread it around. So I did both sides to see if I found a difference. Um, I do feel like it spreads better with a brush for whatever reason than a dampened beauty blender, although this does work also, but for some reason I just felt like this, the spread was a little easier and more consistent with this. Um, at first, when I was first using it, this isn't the first day I've used it. I've been using it for a while. I just thought I'd try that half and half thing today. Um, the first time I used it, I'm like, I don't know about this. It didn't feel like it was sinking into the skin much. It felt just sort of like, um, or it kind of looked like it was sitting on the skin a little bit. But then as I've tried the different methods of putting it on, it has gotten better. So if you have this and you struggle with that yourself, um, that you think it's just not blending, 
that's that could be very you know very well be part of the reason is because you just need to try a different method or if it's not like really sinking into your skin but as you can see that is a good color for me again it's bisque and it just blends in beautifully it's just a gorgeous foundation and it does work it seems to last well on me um like i say as long as i put it on in a way that doesn't look like it's sitting on my skin it's really good so i'm enjoying this a lot and i mean what's easier it's so nice to just be able to go you know spread it around so yeah really enjoying this and i would recommend it so i would say i like it a lot i recently went to hawaii you may have seen the video before this um and i was trying to find things to just really pare down the items that I brought with me. I'm always trying to keep my makeup and beauty items as small as possible, uh, as few as possible, and as small as possible, and I thought this would be a good one to go with me on that trip. I tend to really enjoy matte colors the most on my eyes. A lot of times I'll put like a little sparkly, some little shimmery thing right here, not really sparkly, but a shimmery bit right in the middle, but I can bring like a little tiny um, single for that. But this I thought would be a good thing to try. Now this is one of the Smashbox Cover Shot palettes they have 13 to look at and this is just the matte one um the others have a combination of different you know shimmers and more sparkles and matte but this is the one that's all matte and i figured I figured i figured it would be a perfect one to choose for the trip i still have the plastic on the mirror um because really you could do a lot with this these are just your basic tones here that you could just do anything with you could pop in a little bit of this purple ear tone over here this is more of your cool shades this is more of your warm shades you can mix and match a bit um i just didn't feel like i could go wrong in any way with these so i really enjoyed it i used it hardly looks like i used it much at all but i definitely have used it quite a bit the pigmentation is very very nice i mean it really really does a good job of doing what it's supposed to do it blends well there's nothing bad to say about it and now i would like to possibly find another one of the other 12 that they have and see if i can find a combination that i would really like now i have to wipe off my hands so for the smashbox for this one palette the uh, matte eye palette for the smashbox cover shot i would have to say that i love it it's good if you know me at all and have been watching me for any length of time, you will know that I will try any and every cushion foundation that comes out. I just really enjoy the whole process of just being able to open it, bopping my beauty blender in, bopping it on my face, done, goodbye. So I, of course, wanted to try the Laneige. I have the Laneige uh, lip cream. Uh, it's like a, what is that called? A lip mask for sleeping. Love it. It's beautiful. It's just nourishing love that stuff so of course i want to try the cushion foundation and this i thought was ex especially uh, spectacular because it has spf 50. one of my very favorite foundations is the it cosmetic cc cream and it has 50 uh, spf which i just love because i freckle like a maniac all year round so i always try to keep as much spf on my face as possible so i thought that was really special that it was 50. So I needed to give it a try for sure. It's called the BB Cushion Hydra Radiance, and I got mine in number 21 beige. Now this color is a smidge light for me at the moment just because I've just gotten back from Hawaii, and even though I sit under every palm tree there is and so forth, I still got some sun and freckles. I rarely ever, and I don't even think I have used this one now, I rarely ever use these cushions. I always use my Beauty Blender with it. And just open it up, and this is what it looks like. Now that does not look light for me, you know, in the cushion like that at all. I, I see that that does not. But when I put it on my face, it's a smidge light. I can make it work now. But as you can see, it's just, a, and then this is the lightest part of my whole body, but it's still even a light, you know, a little bit light there. Um, so on my face, it's a little light. Anyway, I think this will be perfect for winter. I'm really enjoying it. I like the longevity of it. It looks perfectly good on the skin. It covers well. I'd call it probably a light to medium but buildable coverage and um, I really love the SPF 50 involved so I'm going to just sort of hold on to this for a few more weeks it'll be cold enough that, and, and I'll be more um, you know closer to my regular tone <laughs> and it'll work better for me I just know it so I would have to say that it's got everything I need and it's been working really well so I love this one of my very favorite other items um, that I've talked about so much is my Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay I adore that fragrance. I love it. And so I always want to try any of the new Jo Malone's that come, you know, out. And the new one, Honeysuckle and Divana, D 
Devana, Devana, I don't know. It has come out, I got this little sample, and I think this is a perfect amount to try a fragrance. So I thought, well, this is a deluxe sample, I love it, I'll take it. So I've been trying it for the last few days. Um, it's growing on me more. At first, I didn't care for it as much. And then the more I wear it, the more it grows on me. I like to just, a, a light dusting is good. And it's a very fresh, it's a, it's a bit floral, obviously, because of the honeysuckle. I don't even know what Devana is. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I'm sure it smells just like it. Um, but I really do, I really am enjoying this. I don't like it as much as my Blackberry and Bay, which is my all-time favorite for Jo Malone the fragrances, but I do think this is great for having in your bag. Um, so if you can find this deluxe sample somewhere, try it that way. I got this one from a uh, Sephora order that I did. So yeah, it's it's growing on me. I like it. I like it a lot, but um, like I say, nothing beats my Blackberry and Bay. So that's a good one. Also, I have been trying the, and working, I've been working with this quite a bit, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Now, there are two different kinds of concealer that you could get from the Born This Way, and this, I chose this one, the sculpting one, and I find it interesting. Okay, I've, I've actually used this all over my face as a foundation. I've tried it that way. It's got this giant doe foot applicator. This is the color I got, which it looks light. But again, when you spread it out, it's not so bad. And then I add um, any kind of a bronzer or whatever that I need. Um, I've used it solely as a concealer. Um, I, if I had other colors, I would definitely try to use it as a contour. I think that would be really interesting to get a darker tone of your regular skin and just sort of contour with it, just in little tiny bits. And I think that might really be fun. But I don't know that I want to invest in another one yet at this time to do that with, to give that a try. But I think that that would be a very interesting, um, interesting thing to do. You could get several different shades of this and do your whole face just, you know, with different shades. So anyway, liking this very much. Um, not the best concealer I've ever used, you know, concealer wise. I just feel like uh, it doesn't actually conceal as much as I would like for it to conceal. But once it's spread around as an all over kind of a thing and you just add an extra bit there, I think it does the job, it does enough, it really works. So I have to say I like this. That's what I'm going with for now. Okay, last but not least. Strangely enough, this mascara the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara has been around forever, and I have tried it, I've used it, I feel like I've had it several times. However, I've really only ever used the little mini ones that I've gotten for free for different things. You know, when you order something, you get your free samples, and I always click on that one so I get the samples. I realized that I have never tried a full tube. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like the small samples of mascaras in particular aren't always the same as what the full tube is. You don't really get a full idea of what the mascara can do. I don't know if it has to do with the amount of product and the size of the brush and the tiny tube. I don't really know what the deal is, but they never seem to quite be the same. So, when they came out with this, oh my gosh, I hope my mother's not watching. Um, it's called Better Than Birthday Sex. <laughs> so, anyway, it's, there's nothing different about the mascara itself. It is in, uh, it's a limited edition with a sparkly, yeah, sparkle tube. Let's see if I can get that to focus on the tube. Yeah, it's just got a sparkly tube to it. Um, and it's for their 20th birthday edition, so there's nothing different about the mascara itself. But I had never tried it in the full tube form. So I thought, well, this is perfect. I get the sparkly tube and get to celebrate the birthday of the company and so forth, and I do really like it. Um, in this case, Whereas with most mascaras, I would say that they're not this very similar, you know, the, the minis to the big. This one seems to work very much the same as all the little samples that I have gotten. So for me, it seems like I'm not, I, I'm not surprised in any way by this. It still works the same. It works well. It doesn't really give me a wow. I've never been thrilled to death with it, um, but it is a very good mascara. I mean, hands down, it really is a very good mascara. So I am very happy with this. I like it a lot and i um, really happy to have this cute sparkly tube because why not, right? 
So basically, all those are the things that I have been loving, liking, or wanting to leave. Now, I don't have any leave it at the moment, which is amazing. I don't know if I'm just getting better at deciding what to try and what not to try, or if I just got lucky this time and liked all the items that I have picked up recently. Um, like I said, I've gotten a lot of different other things that I might have been adding to my favorites in the last couple months. So you might want to check out my last few favorite videos because if I'm loving something generally, that's exactly where I put it. Um, but I will try to add them onto these two in the future. So yeah, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye.